You are watching Cold Fusion TV. Hey, welcome to another Cold Fuston video. So recently you may have heard about the latest project from Google X. And for those of you that don't know, Google X is the experimental division of Google. So after tackling self-driving cars, Google X is looking into drone technology. Their latest project was kept secret and under wraps for two years. And finally it's been unveiled and it's been titled Project Wing. Let's take a quick look to see what all the fuss is about. Project Wing is a direct answer to Amazon's Prime Air, a drone delivery service that Amazon says will get products to your door within 30 minutes. Project Wing broadens the scope a little from Amazon, as Google says its long-term goal is to develop drones that could be used for disaster relief by delivering aid to isolated areas. According to the BBC, they could be used for earthquakes, floods or extreme weather events. The drones could take small items such as medicines or batteries to people in areas that conventional vehicles just couldn't reach. According to a quote by Astro Teller, one of the founders of Google X, he states that even just a few of these, being able to shuttle nearly continuously could service a very large number of people in an emergency situation. Google X spokesmen go on to say that emergency services will now have a brand new set of tools for solutions within crisis situations. Interestingly enough, Project Wing is currently being tested only in Australia, in Queensland to be exact, but this is only because US federal aviation laws are much too strict in the US to allow for free flight testing. One of the cool things that the news outlets seem to be ignoring is the actual aeronautical design of the self-flying vehicle. It has a wingspan of 1.5 meters, weighs 8.5 kilograms, and it's a VTOL aircraft. VTOL stands for Vertical Takeoff and Landing. It was an idea first developed in Europe, but saw American adoption in the early 1960s. It was a revolutionary concept. Basically, a craft could take off vertically without the need for a runway, and then propel itself like a regular aircraft once in the air. Two of the most famous examples of this craft would be the Harrier Jump Jet and the V-22 Offspray. Another cool factor is the flying wing design. This means that the craft can fly more efficiently, faster and travel much further distances than when compared to traditional quadcopter drone designs. By the way, I only know all of this because I actually used to be obsessed with planes as a little kid. No shame. But back on topic, there still are a whole host of issues to deal with before commercial application. Some of these include product theft, wireless hijackings, and proximity sensors not being fast enough to detect potential crashes. Not to mention government aviation regulations and fear by the untech savvy public. Google X themselves say that this prototype is still years away from production. But this, along with Amazon's drone plans, do give some insight into the future direction of small package delivery and disaster aid for that matter. Anyway, that's all from me for now, but let me know what you think in the comment section below. I personally find this stuff very interesting, but I'm neither one way or the other. I'm not really on the edge of my seat, and I'm not really against this either. So I want to know what you guys think. Anyway, thanks a lot for watching another Cold Fusion video. I'll catch you again soon for the next video. And while we're here, please check out some other videos. I'll leave uh, some links playing for a bit so you can just click on whichever topic interests you the most. And I'll see you again soon. Cheers, guys. Cold Fusion. It's new thinking.